हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अशोक कुमार अ टीचर ऑफ इंग्लिश वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन ऋषिकुल ऑनलाइन स्कूल द बेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन टू स्टूडेंट्स अगेन आई वेलकम यू स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मॉड्यूल नंबर टू एंड इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी सेल डिस्कस द टॉपिक रीच फॉर द टॉप पार्ट वन दैट हैज बी रिटन बाई संतोष यादव and it has been taken from your book behind you so let's go to next slide and see students in this slide we shall discuss the story of part 1 so let's discuss born in an affluent family of jonia was a small village of rewari district haryana santosh yadav is the only woman in the world to have scaled mount everest twice born in a conservative society where sons are preferred over the daughters santosh was welcomed in the family as she was the sixth child and the only sister to five elder brothers santosh was a bit of rebel right from the beginning and defied con- conventions she neither liked to wear traditional dresses nor followed the traditional course of life again rather than scumbing to parental pressure to get married early she insisted on pursuing her studies her parents had to give in to her desire to study at a high school in delhi followed by higher education at maharani college jaipur the next rest of the story will be discussed in the next slide so let's move to next slide and see students rest of the story will be discussed in this slide so let's discuss in jaipur she used to live in kasturba hostel and could see the aravalli hills from her room attracted by the villagers climbing these hills one day she decided to check the route herself there she met a few mountaineers who allowed her to join them and encouraged her to take to mountaineering before completing her college degree santosh yadav got herself enrolled at uttarakashi's nehru institute of mountaineering so students rest of the story will be discussed in the next slide so let's move to next slide and see students in this slide we shall discuss the story further so let's discuss after the completion of her semester in jaipur she had to rush straight to the institute as she had no time to visit home so she wrote her father a letter apologizing for not having sought his permission before joining the institute during this training she went for an expedition each year her physical fitness strong will power mental toughness resistance to cold and altitude help her to improve her climbing skills rapidly in 1992 after training for 4 years she became the youngest woman in the world to conquer mount everest at 22 years so students rest of the story will be discussed in the next module so wait for the next module keep watching the module thank you have a nice day